guys, I'm Dariani, AKA the hungriest girl on earth, and today I'm gonna show you two of my favorite salmon recipes that are not only healthy, but so easy that literally any human can make them. So, let's do this. First, start with a nice piece of salmon. Please don't buy anything that's pre-frozen, and also try and stay away from farm-raised fish. Then, salt, pepper, olive oil, garlic powder, Dijon mustard, dill, and some honey. Okay, let's do this. Okay, first of course, salt and pepper. I use pink Himalayan salt because supposedly it's supposed, it's supposed to be better for you and also I just like saying that I use pink Himalayan salt. It makes me sound cooler. Second, some garlic powder. Garlic powder literally makes everything better. Next, grab some Dijon mustard. Fun fact, did you know that the difference between regular mustard and Dijon mustard is that Dijon mustard has wine in it? Also, Dijon mustard comes from the French city of Dijon. Grab enough mustard so that you can spread it evenly on the salmon. If you're not super crazy about an abrasive taste of mustard, do half mustard, half mayo. It'll give it a lighter taste. I like to use a grainy Dijon mustard because aesthetically it's prettier and I feel like the mustard seed makes it more mustardy. Next, you're gonna drizzle a little bit of honey on top of the salmon, because of course it makes it a little sweeter and it complements it against the taste of the Dijon mustard. Next is one of my favorite herbs of all time, fresh dill. Do yourself a favor and use fresh herbs whenever you can. Not much more expensive, but I'm telling you, it is such a better flavor. Ooh, use your handy dandy kitchen paintbrush thing that I pretty much use just because it's fun and just spread it all together. And that's it. Now you're ready to take the pan and put the salmon in the oven. All you have to do is grab some olive oil, put it on the pan, so obviously the salmon doesn't stick. Spread it with your fingers, just place it on there. Okay people, now for my easy breezy jerk salmon. First, as per usual, salt and pepper, mayo. And if you want to use light mayo, that's totally cool if you're counting calories. Then some jarred jerk sauce, unless you have a Jamaican Connect who's gonna make it for you. And last, coconut flakes. How cute. First, salt and pepper. For this recipe, I do half mayo, half jerk sauce because jerk sauce is pretty intense, so you're gonna to wanna to lighten it up, and the mayo makes it creamy. If you're super scared of jerk sauce, do three-fourths mayo and one-fourth jerk sauce. Because I like to use any excuse to use the brush, brush it on. You simultaneously get to feel like an artist too, which is nice. And last, grab some coconut flakes and put it on top. It gives it a really nice crunch, and of course aesthetically it looks pretty. And just like we did with the other salmon dish, make sure to add a little bit of olive oil onto the pan. There's really nothing worse than anything sticking to your pan. Grab the piece of fish and ever so gently put it on the pan. Okay, now they're ready to go in the oven. Make sure you put the salmon in a preheated oven of 350 and cook it for about 15 to 20 minutes. Don't overcook the salmon because you'll ruin it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys cook this or anything because every single person should be able to cook something delicious. I'm Dariani Santana, AKA the hungriest girl on earth. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube channel.